my partner in crime. John has always taken a protective role with me, especially when I get my crazy ideas. The guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad, or something like that. John, can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me. And you are going to let me borrow it. Damn! You put it like that. Fine. Take it. Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. I will leave this here. Now. Let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Concentrate on this room, and this room only. I just... I don't... Concentrate. I'm trying, but... What's happening? What can you see? I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart, one by one. I want you to single out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was here. How the hell do I do that? You will, with a bit of help from me. Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table, and there is a particular place in here he loved to hang around. <laughs> but you probably know what that is. For this to work, you need to focus on three things. The last being this item you brought from him. Focus on them. John? Come on, child. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real. But you can still interact with him, in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. Fill in the holes, you know? 
other times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. This is, as much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well, and never be afraid of it. Thank you, Rose. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. So what is it that I need to do to use that projection trick you taught me? Focus on three things in the room that are related to the incident you want to remember. And voila, it is that easy. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. <sighs> Alice left. But it's good. I mean, I mean she'll be finally be happy. She's got her sisters, they're living their expensive McMansion. Ah oh, Christ, I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the fat guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble, and yours is also kind and gentle. And it is in that strong heart of yours where you can always find yourself. There's this girl, I was lucky to train her a couple of years. Bright, smart, sharp, <laughs> kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew a brother too. Scott. And that made it the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Last month we lost him to a piece of shit murder. The things that life gives us and the things that life takes from us, we have no control over those. We do with them what we can. Ah, bullshit! Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. It was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. I guess it had to happen to her for it to hit me. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've got firm and walk again. But this demon of yours... I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. So am I. So am I.